Let's start this lesson off by laying out why it is that you need storage migration at all. To define it, storage migration is the moving of virtual storage of a virtual machine from one location to another. In many cases, the virtual machine is running while the storage is being moved. Now, this feature is so beneficial and so helpful for a variety of reasons, but they all have to do with flexibility. In the past, you'd have to shut down a physical host to move its storage. Today, you can move all or just pieces of a virtual machine storage with the virtual machine up and running at all times. That means that end users can be accessing a critical company application in a virtual machine while the storage of that virtual machine is being moved from one location to another. Actually, it's really amazing that this is even possible. So why would you want or need to move a virtual machine storage? Well, let's say that you need to perform SAN or NAS maintenance on a storage array. You need to take it offline, maybe replace a disk or a power supply. Or perhaps you just have a SAN LUN that's out of space. That happens quite frequently. Or maybe your SAN is being pushed to its performance limits and it's just out of I.O., also known as I.O.s per second or IOPS, requiring you to move virtual machine disk files to balance the performance allocation. No matter the reason, the ability to move virtual machine storage with the virtual machine powered on is a huge benefit to system administrators, companies, and end users alike because it's going to prevent downtime and give them greater flexibility. So how does Hyper-V storage migration work? Well, let's find out. When virtual storage from a running virtual machine is moved, disk reads and write continue to go to the source virtual hard disk. While reads and writes occur on the source virtual hard disk, the disk contents are copied to the new destination virtual hard disk. After that initial disk copy is complete, disk writes are mirrored to both the source and the destination virtual hard disk while outstanding disk changes are replicated. After the source and destination virtual hard disk are completely synchronized, the virtual machine switches over to using just the destination virtual hard disk and then finally, the source virtual hard disk is deleted. That's how it works, and that's how it's depicted here in this graphic, thanks to Microsoft.com. So without further delay, let's go over and let's see some storage migration in action. I'll demonstrate it for you step by step. Now, the requirements to use Hyper-V storage migration are easy. You'll need two hosts with Windows Server 2012 Hyper-V, and a virtual machine that's only using virtual storage. And then here's the steps that you'll need to take. First, you'll use the Move Wizard inside Hyper-V Manager. You'll select what you want to move. You can move all data to the same location, all data to different locations, or only a virtual machine hard disk to a new location. And then finally, you'll click Finish and move it. It's really easy. Let's now go over to our Hyper-V lab and I'll show you how to do it step by step. Here in the Hyper-V lab to get started with the demonstration for Hyper-V storage migration, I'm just going to quickly create a brand new, very small virtual machine for demonstration purposes. So I'll just click finish here. We created a new virtual machine. It's currently powered off. I'm going to right click on it and let's go into the settings for the virtual machine. I want to add a second hard drive, a second virtual disk. So we'll have two for our demonstration purposes. I'll click new on the hard disk here and click finish. There we go. We have two virtual hard disks. I'll say OK. And I'm going to right click on this virtual machine and power it on. Start it up. All right, with the virtual machine running, now we're going to start the steps to perform a storage migration. Of course, we're in the Hyper-V Manager. We're going to go over to the Actions pane. I've selected the virtual machine I want to migrate, and I'll go down here and click on Move. And this brings up the Move Wizard. So we're moving this virtual machine that we just created. I'll click Next here, and we need to select first the type of move that we want to make. We could move where this virtual machine is running from one host to another host, or we could just move this virtual machine storage. This lesson is about moving virtual machine storage. It's about Hyper-V storage migration. So that's what we're going to select is move the virtual machine's storage. I'll click Next here, 
And now we want to specify what piece of the virtual machine storage we want to move. Of course, you can move all of the virtual machine's data to a new single location. You could move the virtual machine's data to different locations, or you could move just the virtual machine hard disk or just one or both of the virtual machine hard disk to a new location that you specify. So think about a virtual machine. You've got the virtual machine hard disk, which of course makes up most of the storage space used. It's the largest single chunk of a virtual machine. That's the virtual machine hard disk. But then you've got other pieces of the virtual machine, such as the virtual machine configuration files. So when you move a virtual machine hard disk, you're moving just the storage for that virtual machine. The virtual machine configuration files and the running virtual machine stay in the same place. However, if you did a live migration, you would move the virtual machine configuration files. Of course, we're doing a storage migration here. Let's just say that we want to move only a virtual machine virtual hard disk for this running virtual machine. We'll take that option and click Next. And now it's asking which of the virtual machine hard disk we want to move. Because this virtual machine has two, we could move both of them, or we could deselect one, and we could just move one of the virtual machine hard disk and leave the other virtual machine hard disk where it is. Let's go ahead and take that option. We'll just move this second virtual machine hard disk. I'll click Next here. And now it's asking us where we'd like to move the virtual machine hard disk. So if I click Browse here, I've got a new volume. I've got a second disk on this server. I'm going to select that disk, disk E. I'll say select folder. Most likely you'd want to put it in some sort of subfolder, I would think. But in this case, I'll just put it in the root. Notice that this virtual machine hard disk, because it's thinly provisioned, is actually only four megabytes in space. That's not going to take very long to move, which is actually why I've selected it for the demonstration. The new volume that we're moving it to has 226 gigabytes of free space. The old volume had 664 gigabytes of free space. Obviously, we don't have a low disk space issue in this case, but that may be one of the most common reasons that you need to go in and actually move a virtual machine disk file. So I'll just click Next here, and now we get a summary of what we're about to do, and then all we have to do is click Finish. It said it was preparing the move up there. You very quickly saw a message that said it was moving, and then it said succeeded. So now if we go into the settings for this virtual machine, take a look at these virtual machine hard drives. Here's the first disk. Notice it's in this path here, C colon users, public, documents, Hyper-V, virtual machine hard disk. If we look at the second disk, notice now it's on the E drive, E colon, and the path is new virtual machine hard disk dot VHDX. So we did successfully move this virtual machine hard disk. And by the way, that's with the virtual machine running. So there was no downtime for the end users using the critical company application on this virtual machine. So I'll click Cancel here. And now let's try another move. I'll click Move. That brings up the Move Virtual Machine Wizard. I'll click Next. We'll say we want to move virtual machine storage again. And this time, let's say we want to move the virtual machine's data to different locations. And that's going to give us a number of other options over here that I wanted to show you. So I'll click Next here. And now, look at all the different types of virtual machine data we have the option to move. Not only the two virtual machine hard disks, but also the current configuration, snapshots, and smart paging. So let's say that we just wanted to move the current configuration, not the virtual machine hard disk, we could do that. I'll click Next, and then I'll say where I want to move that configuration. I'll say Next here, and Finish. All right, and with the virtual machine running, very quickly it said Moving there, and the virtual machine configuration file has been moved. Let's go explore that folder and see actually what's there. I'll go to the E drive, and take a look at this. If I maximize the window, We've got the new virtual machine hard disk here. That's the disk we moved first. Then we've got a folder called virtual machines. If we go in here, here's this weird looking XML document. This is actually the virtual machine configuration file. If you were to right click on this and edit it, and I'll actually do a find in here for new virtual, and there's the name of the virtual machine hard disk. 
I'll do a find next. Again, there's the name of the virtual machine hard disk with the path. And here's actually the name of the new virtual machine, which was, of course, very creatively called new virtual machine. So there we go. That is the virtual machine configuration file that we moved using the move wizard in Hyper-V. And with that, we're back here at our slides. We successfully migrated the storage of a Hyper-V virtual machine, not only the virtual machine hard disk, but you also saw how you can selectively edit which pieces of the virtual machine you want to migrate and to where. And that brings us to the end of this lesson. Thanks for watching using Hyper-V Storage Migration.